cities and get plays. Is that you, Smythe? We've done like a. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, it is. I am here. I have brought the book. Aren't you excited? I'm excited. Okay. Okay, all right. Here we are. How are you feeling today, buddy? I feel a little better. Um, mm -hmm. Are we reading the book again today? Uh, yes, we are going to read some more. It's going to be so good. I think you're really going to love this part. Uh, so yesterday, uh, when we left off, uh, Maya had just found the first thing that she needed, the first gift from the king, in order to defeat the dragon. You remember what this was? Forgiveness, right? Uh, or, well, mercy. Yeah. Mercy. But just, you know. Which is when she doesn't get the punishment she deserves. That's right. Mercy. When we do not get punished as we deserve, the king gives mercy. Now, today, we will learn uh, the second thing from the king. You ready to learn? Yes. Oh, me too. It's going to be so good. Okay. The Heroes of Green Village, a chapter two. Let us read together. Here we go. Okay. It was a beautiful day in the green village. Thanks again for letting me be part of your village, Lord Harlow. I've never had a real home since my parents died. Think nothing of it, Maya. The king offers everyone mercy for free. We're just so glad to have you. Now, are you ready to learn the second key to defeating iniquity? I guess, but I'm just still not sure how I'm supposed to fight a dragon all by myself. By yourself? What do you mean by yourself? Help. You guys are gonna help me fight the dragon? Why? Well, that's the second gift that the king gives us to stand up against iniquity. Friends! We all need good friends who love us and love the king to stand by our side and help us do what's right and live victoriously over the enemy. In fact, Theo's father was one of my best friends. We went on all kinds of adventures, serving the king and helping people all across the land. That's right, Maya. In this kingdom, no one stands alone. Wow. I've never had real friends before, but I'm still not sure how we're supposed to fight a dragon. Well, I mean, you know, no offense, but, um, I just don't know how a farmer and a, a bake, baker person and a teacher are supposed to fight a dragon. Oh, Maya, you don't understand. Here, let me show you. Take a seat. These three are much more than they seem. These are the heroes of Green Village. Servants of the king and warriors of great renown. <clears throat> Are you sure? Oh, I'm sure. Take Theo here. He's not just a farmer. He's the strongest person in all the land. Oh, shucks, Lord Harlow. His father was a knight, and now he's following in his footsteps. He uses his great strength to rescue the weak and help those in need. One time, a river was flooding and was about to wash away a poor blacksmith's house. Theo picked up the whole building on his back and carried it to higher ground. Another time, a new road needed to be built, but there was a huge mountain in the way. Theo here simply walked up and punched the mountain splitting it right down the middle so the road could pass. Wow, that is amazing. I, I had no idea. All right, all right, enough about Theo. Actually, it's my turn. I'm Robin. I'm the most talented person you've ever seen. Really? I thought you were just a baker. Robin is indeed a fine baker. 
But that's only this week's hobby. She has to keep learning new skills all the time because she masters them so quickly. Robin is very good at many things. She can sing like a bird. She can run like a fox. She can paint. She can dance. She can do just about anything she wants and look super cool while she's at it. One time, she stopped the war between two kingdoms by reading a poem she wrote. The two kings were so moved that they hugged and became friends again right there on the battlefield. Wow. What about your bow? I see you're dressed like an archer. I bet you're an amazing shot. Well, okay, my bow, that's one thing I'm maybe not the best at, but you see the king's teaching me, so I'm gonna be the best in no time. The king is also teaching her how to be humble. Isn't that right? Yeah, that part we may be still working on. Yeah. Professor, would you step forward, please? Oh, all right. The professor here is the smartest person in all the world, maybe ever. There's no equation she can't solve, no problem she can't think through. She's an inventor, a thinker, and can figure out a solution to just about anything. She solved the unsolvable maze of Zambadu in a matter of minutes. Child's play. She decoded the language of the birds. They're actually excellent conversationalists. She invented the world's first flying machine. And I didn't even die when it crashed. Wow, this is amazing. With you three by my side, there's no way we can lose. That's the spirit. Iniquity doesn't stand a chance when the servants of the king stand together, united, and trust in him. Well, it looks like the four of you have a lot of work to do, so I'll leave you to it. Good luck. Bye. Thanks. Um, okay, well, you guys are the experts, so what do we do, Theo? Well, I'm not really sure. I don't usually make the plans. I just move heavy things. Yeah. I mean, guys, guys, listen. Listen, guys. Everyone, I've got to tell you what we're going to do. It's important that we all work together. No, your strength is most important. Don't let them forget about you. Hold on just a minute there. My strength is the most important thing. If we're gonna fight a dragon, that's what we're really gonna need. No, your talents are most important. Don't let them make you look bad. Wait a minute, Theo. I know you're like strong and all, but we all know my talents are gonna be able to defeat the dragon. In fact, I could probably take the dragon all by myself. What, um, guys, what, what's going on? What are you doing? They don't know what they're talking about. They're going to ruin everything if they don't listen to you. Just a moment, friends. I'm sure you both will have something to contribute, but it'll be my brilliant plans that carry us to victory. Just wait for a moment, and I'll tell you what you need to do. She thinks you're too dumb to have good ideas. Just hold your horses there. I may not be as smart as you, but I'm not just gonna stand around and let you give me orders. I have good ideas too. She can't talk to you like that. Who does she think she is? Yeah, who put you in charge? I know what I'm doing. You know what? Don't you have some books to be reading or something? <laughs> Robin, that was not very nice. I mean, what has gotten into you guys? What is going on? They think they don't need you. You're obviously smarter than they are. You two would be lost without me. Everyone knows I'm the smart one on our team. I'll do the thinking and you just wait until I tell you what to do next. You should fight about this. No, I'm the smart one. You punched a mountain. Nobody cares. No, no, no. You. <laughs> I should have known that you were behind this. You made them fight. Oh, hello again, Maya, my little helper. 
I wanted to thank you for helping me destroy Green Village. You did so well. What a useful servant you're becoming. Oh, well, I don't actually serve you anymore, Iniquity. I belong to the king now, and I'm gonna defeat you. <laughs> defeat me? My dear girl, how could you hope to defeat me all on your own? Oh, I'm not all on my own. I have friends now. <laughs> you mean them? They're too busy squabbling to do anything to stop my plans. I once ruled over Green Village, you know, and I plan to do so again. Everyone there will reject the king and serve me. Just like you, Maya. No, that, that's never gonna happen. I belong to the king now. So be it. I think it's time I reminded you of your proper place. Ha! The dragon is here. Now I can show you slow pokes which one of us is really the greatest. <laughs> I think not. Everyone knows dragons are intelligent creatures. I shall defeat this beast with my brilliant mind. You two better stand back. I'm the strongest. I'll handle this. Look out, dragon. Here comes Theo. Uh, um. Oh. Ah. And take that. And that. And, ah. Um. Theo, are, are you all right? What I'm happened? Strong. I'm strong, but that dragon is way stronger. I couldn't defeat it on my own. I told you. You know what? I'm gonna challenge that dragon to a dance-off. There's no way he's got better moves than me. Bring it on, dragon! Ha! I've got you. Can you do the robot? Or the twist? What about the Watusi? Oh! Um, Robin, are you all right? No, the dragon, such smooth moves. My talent was nothing compared to him. He also breathes fire when he's losing, which is cheating. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't defeat him. Well, my friends, my time has come. I will face this beast. Dragons love riddles, as we all know. I shall challenge it to a duel of wits. Ho there, dragon. I have a riddle for you. I don't think. <gasps> well, I never. It seems my clever wordplay has no effect on this uncivilized brute. What should we do? I don't know. We just. You don't stand a chance against me. You and your pitiful breed village will be my servants. What? Again! Yeah! Oh no! The dragon! It's gonna defeat us! We're doomed! Ah! Wait, hang on a minute, Smythe. Maya can't lose? Who's gonna kill the dragon? Is it Harlow? Who? Um, no one. The, the dragon, he lives. If the dragon lives? What kind of story is this? Why are you reading me this? Look, you're getting a little worked up. Maybe we should take a little break, no, huh? No, 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 I, I, no, I want to keep going. Are you sure? Because I don't want you to have like a, some kind of relapse or something. No, no, I'm good. Let's keep going. All right, okay. Let's see. Ugh, before I was so rudely interrupted, where was I? Ah, yes. Everyone was screaming again. Oh no, the dragon, it, it's gonna defeat us. We're doomed. Ah! The meaning of this? Iniquity, you old snake. What are you doing here? Well, look who it is. Harlow, my old friend. Come to serve me once more? Do you really think these fools can help you? They are nothing. You are all alone. You listen to me, Iniquity. You have no place here. This land belongs to the king and his people. You, your claim over this village means nothing. 
Go back to where you came from. See, you haven't lost your nerve. No matter, I'll still be rid of all of you. And then I'll rule this town once again. Mark my words, Harlow, your time will come soon. <sighs> Is everyone okay? Are you hurt? I'm okay. <laughs> Just a little crispy. My foot hurts, but I'll be fine. Other than a bruised ego, I seem to be unharmed. Yeah, I'm fine too, but I just don't understand what, what just happened because you said, you know, if I had friends, then I could defeat the dragon, and we got whooped. Well, did you stand together? Fight side by side? Uh, take care of each other and, and trust in the king to help you. Well, not exactly. Well, I know it's what we meant to do, but it didn't quite go that way. Well, what do you mean? Well, we began making our plans to fight the dragon when all of a sudden something I said kind of offended Theo and Robin. Yeah, and then I got a little mad. May have gotten a little sassy. We all began arguing about who the most important team member was. We were all so upset, we didn't even notice iniquity until it was too late. Yes, that is all true, but I still just don't understand how this could happen because you guys are supposed to be the king's second gift to me and then I could defeat the dragon and you were no help at all. Well, it's true that the king gives us friends to stand up against iniquity, but it looks like you forgot what it really means to be a servant of the king. What do you mean? We didn't forget nothing. Are you sure? The king gave each of you special gifts to help one another serve him and defeat the dragon. When you put each other first and use your gifts to help, the enemy cannot stand it. He loses every time. But... That's not what we did. No, it's not. You guys were so concerned about making sure that you were the most important, you didn't actually help anybody with your gifts. That's one of the biggest tricks of the enemy. If he can get us to argue amongst ourselves about who is most important, we'll have no chance of defeating him. It's the quickest way to defeat. How true. We allowed our egos to get in the way and failed to honor our king. Robin, Theo, can you please forgive my foolish behavior? I'm sorry, too. I acted poorly. I'm so ashamed of myself. I love the help, but I lost sight of what's important. Can we all be friends again? Of course. We are more than friends. We are all part of the king's family. Great. Well, we forgive each other, but... We lost. What are we supposed to do the next time the dragon comes? Well, I know I'm new here, but I think if we, you know, encourage each other and trust in the king, we'll have a much better chance of winning. Good. Keep going. Well, if friends really are the king's gift to, you know, help us do what's right, then we have to take care of each other. We have to serve each other with humility and love each other the best that we can. Theo, your strength can do such amazing things for people. You don't have anything to prove. Thank you, Maya. And Robin, your talents can be such a blessing to others. You don't have to show off. We already love you. Aw, thanks. And Baffle, that brain of yours can think of such amazing solutions to people's problems. We love being your friend, right, guys? Of course. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Excellent. This is just what the king wants for his people. You missed it this time, but I'm sure next time you'll be ready. Mm, yeah. Lord Harlow, I have a question about that. <laughs> yes. Just now you defeated the dragon mm. whenever we couldn't. How did you do that? Same way that you can, with the king's three gifts. Mm. First... The dragon tried to remind me of my past and how I had once helped them. But I have the king's mercy. Oh, that's the first gift. That's right. Then 
The dragon tried to make me feel all alone as I faced him, but I didn't fall for that either because I know I have all of you by my side. The second gift. That's right. Okay, well, what's the third gift? Ah, the third gift, the most powerful gift. Your life will never be the same once you have this gift. Yeah. The gift number three. Yeah. The final gift. Yeah. Is. Oh, wait, that's me. Hello? My car's warranty. Oh, yes. So good to save me money. Yes, thank you. My credit card number? Okay, one moment. Uh, do you have a paper and a pencil to write it down? You do? Okay, very good. Get ready. Here it is. <gasps> Anyways, what, uh, what are we talking about? Uh, we had just gotten to the second gift. Oh, yes. The gift of friends. So important. Love this. So in the story, Maya, she has the friends, and they all come together and help her to face the dragon. And in the same way, we also have friends that help us face our enemies. So the king is like God. Right. In the story. So God gives us friends to help us? He does. In fact, the Bible says that we are more than friends. We are like part of the same body. Jesus Christ is the head of the body, and we, together, are the body of Christ. And just like in a real body, we all have our jobs to do and special things that we do to help the whole body be healthy and strong and do the things that God has created us for. Okay, so like the human body has different body parts mm -hmm. that help it function properly. Right. So we all have gifts and abilities and roles in the body of Christ mm -hmm. to help each other out. That's right. It's a gift from God to each other that we are connected and we are strong and we do great things together. But what if we fight and we argue and we don't like each other and we don't want to stay connected? Mm, that's a thing that could happen, it's true. But just like you would never get mad at your finger and cut it off or get mad at your foot and say, foot, you go away, I don't need you no more. We are the body of Christ. We cannot cut each other off. We cannot yell at one another and be separated from each other. It's not healthy. We need all the part together. So if we fight, if we have disagreements, if we hurt one another, we must come together in forgiveness and love and make it right. For we are much better together than we are separated from one another. And together we can help each other do what's right. That's right, because just like in the book, there is an enemy, we also have an enemy, the devil. He is trying to trick us Make us serve him instead of the Lord. But our friends in the body of Christ around us give us strength and encouragement to continue to do what is right. Oh, I'm really glad I have friends at church. Hmm. You know, I should probably call them. They're probably worried about me because I've been sick this whole time. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call them. Okay, you call your friends. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go make a sandwich. Okay, bye Smythe. Bye. <laughs>